All right, everybody, we're back here playing some uh, Black Ops Cold War, and we just got Dark Matter on the old freaking Mac-10 here. Now, I have pretty much the best setup I possibly could think of to make for this. Um, I'm thinking there's, like, no recoil at all. The ADS time is still pretty good without sacrificing too much of that for the ammunition. So, hopefully you guys will like this setup I will be giving to you a little later on in the video. I wanted to say, I uh, hope everybody's excited about Season 1 and everything like that, you know? Hope everybody's enjoying the new Warzone stuff as well. Um, I can't cover anything on Warzone as of right now because my entire account situation is, like, kind of messed up. So, I can't really play on Warzone just yet. Um, I don't know why. So, I can't make any content on there. I don't want to play it, really, but I do want to make content on it, which I will be. I'm more than happy to do that for you guys, but I just can't seem to figure out why um, why that's situated or why that's doing that. Um, we got the war machine here. We're on a four, so let's see if we can streak up real good, quick. Oh, okay. A sixy. Seven. Nine. Oh, we got a harp. I should have died right there. I'm on a 12. 13. Let's call on this harp. Okay. Oh! Nice. No! We're 39 and 7 already in this freaking KC match, bro. What the hell? <laughs> That's actually cracked. This gun is just ridiculous, dude. Probably the top, top five best guns in the game right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh damn. Honest with you guys, this gun is like pretty good for long range combat too. If, if, you, if, let me, no, let me say this with like bold overlying text bro if you have good recoil control if you don't have good recoil control with this at range dude it's you you might as well not even try to challenge because you're gonna be shooting literally all over the place but not with the class setup that i'm gonna give you guys after this match here you guys will see that it's actually pretty decent when it comes to recoil but you will still have to control it of course it's not gonna be zero recoil class setup because i'm not gonna lie to you guys like this thing's gonna have recoil all right so oh my god Oh my. I destroyed the RCXD, what? The war machine's too much fun to run around with, man. It basically, is a one shot kill weapon. Oh my god, man. Choked the freaking 100 bomb. But alright, guys, uh, that's pretty much the. We'll see what we did here for the final kill cam. And then we'll go ahead and hop right into the class setup for you guys, and then we'll get that sorted out, and then I'll give you guys some insane gameplay afterwards. So if you guys want to stick around and see some absolutely cracked out stuff, dude, just uh, make sure you stay tuned in after the uh, class setup so entirely. All right, guys, what's going on? We're back here on Black Ops Cold War here for another class setup video for you guys. This is actually probably going to be the first class setup video that I'm doing on Black Ops Cold War in the actual game drop, and it's going to be covering the MAC-10 on Season 1, one of the first weapons that you receive in the Battle Pass of the Season 1 Black Ops Cold War drop, and... And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the best possible class setup where you give you absolutely insane amount of kills, um, really low recoil, and a good magazine that you guys can run around with, and uh, an overall good setup. So I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the class setup. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and do so. That would be greatly appreciated. If you guys want to see me live stream these gameplays that I get live, go give me a follow over on Twitch. TV slash hammy TV. That's where I live stream all of these and make sure you guys drop a like down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into all the attachments and stuff that you guys want to be running on the Mac 10. Alright, so sitting over here, we got the Mac 10 here, uh maxed out with dark ether on it. I already went ahead and went and got it gold and inside of multiplayer and hunter also went ahead and got it gold viper as well. So we have it in dark matter, ultra and in dark uh dark ether as well. So we have both of those camo challenges already knocked out of the way here. But uh getting right into the class here, into the muzzle, and this will be one of our first attachments here now this is going to be the infantry compensator muzzle attachment which gives us a plus 12 percent recoil control for vertical so absolute necessity especially with this gun's high fire rate and a massive massive kick that it has so we're going to be going for more of a rangy type no recoil build with a decent magazine so you kind of can rush and you can kind of sit back with it at the same time so 
We have the infantry compensator for our muzzle. We're running the ranger barrel for 100% bullet velocity. Now, this is the best barrel, in my opinion, for the run on all of your subs. Because uh, without that 100% bullet velocity, your bullets just aren't hitting the targets as fast. It's literally double. It's like double tap, man. That's that's pretty much what I'll have, like, the easiest way I can explain it. Because I'm not too intuitive with all these stats, but... You know, it's practically double tap. You're shooting twice as fast. Our grip here, we have the field agent grip. I would run the SFOD speed grip, but um, I just don't like the sprint move speed. I don't think it's that important. And also, you lose some of that vertical recoil control, which you definitely need on some of the guns in the game. And especially with this one, uh, you definitely do need the vertical recoil control. Now, the magazine, you guys can run whatever you want. You know, magazines don't really matter other than the nerf to ADS time. So I'm running the fast mag, 53 round mag, just so I can rush around a little bit faster and get some more kills faster. You know, but you guys can obviously take that off and just run the drum mag if you don't want the, the massive amount of uh, decrease in ADS. You know, of all of that, it's really up to you guys. You guys can run whatever magazine you want, but definitely have a magazine on because it doesn't have that many shots to start out with. And then for our final attachment here, we're going to be using the airborne elastic wrap, which is basically your drop shot and fastest ADS and flinch resistant fastest wrap in the game. So that's pretty much what you want for your uh, wrap. That's that's going to be pretty much the only thing you guys are going to run on all your classes for your handles. It's just that last wrap. But, uh, yeah, that's the entire class setup for the gun. Now, for secondary, I'm just running a regular shotgun. You guys can mess around with whatever you want for secondaries. Or if you're going for camos, you know, put your launcher on or whatever have you. Um, Sten shot, tactical, lethal, semtax, field upgrade trophy system for all the sweat games. Uh, tactical mass flakjack, our assassin, gearhead, ninja, and gung-ho for all of my things. I can actually swap out gung-ho right now because I was using gung-ho to get my, my point-blank kills. And I don't need to get those anymore because I have a goal. So you guys can run run spycraft or cold-blooded or ghost. Really, it's up to you guys, whatever you want to run. And then uh, perk greed. And that's the entire class setup. So, yeah, just wrapping it up real quick. Um, That's the entire setup for this. Uh, we're still sitting here. Uh, fourth prestige now, level 56. Uh, I'm just grinding out, just getting some gameplays, trying to get these weapons leveled up. And just overall trying to cover some of this content in Season 1. But other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and roll the rest of the video what you guys are going to be watching in the next previous gameplay is a double nuclear drop on a pretty sweaty player that was using a sniper he was pretty good with it and then he ended up swapping over to some like smg and he just like started shooting my body and stuff and it was a great time bro i dropped a double nuke on him and i hope you guys enjoy but uh other than that, that's all you guys are going to hear from me and i'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the rest of that rest, rest of that gameplay so if you guys want to go ahead and watch that you're more than welcome to if not i'll catch you guys in another video peace out boys here's me corner triple uh do i have enough time i do have enough time Ooh. all right boys focus up fuck dude he pulled out a he's shooting my body he's the fucking damn time <laughs> yo i'm gonna send him a screenshot of two nukes bro i'm gonna screen he's shooting my fucking body bro <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna fucking send him a screenshot of both my by the nuclear medals. <laughs> uh, that's funny fucking shit. Man. That's funny as fuck, man. I gotta send him a picture of that one, oh, man. That's funny as fuck. Oh my god, now they're playing mid map, bro. What the fuck is that noise? Is there Santa Claus? Santa Claus? Is that you? Oh, dude, that, that angle was insane. Holy fuck. Wait, how did I get this out? What the fuck? Counter. This kid is such a fucking anti, bro. Don't fuck yourself, get double nuke, kid.
No way that destroyed. <sighs> Oh my god, I ran out of ammo. What is he doing? Losing Alpha. Taking Charlie. Victory's course. Wrap it up and let's go home. Hold your positions. How quick is the battle pass? I don't know. I'll check it out after this. <laughs> he left the lobby, dude. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> Yikes, fifty two ninety three. Nice. Um, let me see the, uh, let me see the medals real quick. Let me fucking take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot. Let me.